My name is Paul Galan. I live in uh, Suffern, New York. And originally I'm from uh, Slovakia, where I survived the Holocaust. This is my third time in Auschwitz. Uh, first time I was here, we did a family journey. Uh, because one of my sisters was in Auschwitz during the war, during the Shoah. So we came back here to visit. My sister survived, thank God. And the second time I came here, I was with the March of the Living in 2005. And then this time is my third time. Uh, I thought I would be immune to whatever I see and experience this time around, being that it's been three times, you never become immune to it. It plays right on your emotions, right in your gut, because you relate what you're seeing to the things that you're familiar with, that I'm familiar with. I was, thank God, never in a concentration camp. I was mostly in hiding in the mountains of Slovakia and in a labor camp in Slovakia. And I was very fortunate because my entire family survived, which was a miracle. But the stories that I'm familiar with, either on a first-hand basis or from first-hand mostly from family and friends, uh, and you come here and you see the reality of this, and you feel it, you can feel it. You, you feel the ghosts, you feel the, the sounds. When we were walking on the railroad tracks earlier, I heard the clanging of the trains. I heard the yelling and the dogs barking. It all becomes so real. You can never get it out of your system, ever. And what makes this trip so wonderful is that I'm here with a group of young people who have to learn the reality of what happened to us, to the Jewish people. And there's no greater opportunity for them to learn it and to feel it than to walk these places, to, to see that it was all here, that it was all happening, to see the ruins of the crematorium, uh, to see the Arbeit Machfrei in real life rather than the photographs. These are all things that young people must learn because we Jews have to make sure that it never, ever happens again. I'm very active in, in, in Holocaust work through a museum that I'm involved with. And the one thing that I learned is you have to give meaning to the words never again. You must make sure that it never happens again. And the question we always ask is, okay, if it's never again, what are you going to do about it? And coming here with young people is going to convince them what they have to do about it.